Hey guys, what is up? Today I'm checking out The Last Faith, developed by Kumi Souls Games and published by Playstack. Came out late 2023 and is described as a dark gothic fusion of Metroidvania and Souls-like. And is currently sitting on a very positive on Steam. Um, as we know, I have quite the collection of both Souls-likes and Metroidvanias on this channel, and they all have one thing in common. And it's usually a fantastic art style, which this one once again has. Uh, select your combat style. Hmm. Brawler, Rogue, Stargazer, and Marksman. Do I want to check out magic? Might go with Brawler, to be honest. Just so we know what the base combat looks A like. New dawn is at hand. The old ways are diminished. Only corruption and deception remain. But one rises above all others, falsely claiming salvation. They gather disciples to take all for themselves. And those who defy this deity suffer. They become servants to pain, imprisoned in solitude, barely existing. Yet only those who have been chosen possess the gift to reclaim what has been taken by the unworthy keeper. Only they can commit to such a burden. If they are able, their pledge shall be rewarded. With salvation. Very beautiful. Fix a lot on those animations. Alright, yeah, this is a very Metroidvania feel. Oh, instantly rewarded for going backwards. Always good. My heart is heavy. Unlike the very few, I have no choice in what I am becoming. Something is taking over, and fast. The promises that have marred lives for years must be irrevocably broken. The heart of Nikrix sought to redeem us all. Ooh, I don't like holding A to confirm to get out. Okay, so we start off with an axe. We can power shot. Interesting. I don't know why I'm pressing all the buttons like this. I'm wasting all my items, but... Nice. Mutated comrade. Hello. You're just back around. B to dodge backwards and B while moving to dive roll. Thank you. Uh, I'm guessing I can't go up. Oh, I can. Ooh, which way first then? Locked with a key. Hmm, I feel like this is the way I'm supposed to go. Let's go to back down. Maybe. Ooh, ha ha ha! Combustion powder. Okay, so destructible walls. I didn't look too carefully, but I don't think there was any hint that there was a fucked up a wall. I kind of, I would prefer there be something there, to be honest. Otherwise you're stuck literally attacking every single wall that you come across. 
Maybe there was a hint and I just didn't notice it. Okay, gotta come back there when we have a key. Damn! Regretting not going marksman already. Is there anything in these? Guessing we can't go out the other end. Hello? Why did you lock me in here? Interact with a checkpoint altar. This will save the game and allow you to teleport back to this location. Cool. RB plus X to use your weapon skill on the equipped right hand weapon. Be wise as this consumes focus. Blue Haymoloth Shard. A molymp? It won't open. Not even for a key. Okay. Press Y to interact with the blue Haymolum statue. Oh god, I would have to say that a lot. You will restore any spent focus. Ooh, okay. So I think we can do that. Don't look like it. Crunch, crunch. Aim a limp. Aim a limp? H shard. That's what I see. Healing injection. Three healing injections. Are we gonna have the mandatory first boss must kill you? Okay, that's a grapple point if ever I've seen one. Or is it a hit? No. It's like a grapple point. Aha! There, I've released the evil upon the world! Yay! So, I'm pretty sure we're not dealing with any fall damage. Wow, yeah, he's straight up gone. Oh, there he is! Where was my. Oh, oh shit. No! Gunman! Ow. Okay, so I only want to focus to do that attack once, that's nuts. Ooh. It's weird, it looks like I should be able to do it twice. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. One of the easier it looks. I thought this was going to be a pushover, but I keep not predicting the length of that. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
Well, everyone like a champ. Jeez. That was not very impressive on my end. Used every single healing item. Infection purged. Stigma of Reprieve. As the power of the Junus Ministry's enemies begins to seep into the world, this power can be harnessed by those who have fallen victim to the Ministry's terror. This stigma is used for a vicious counterattack, temporarily stunning an enemy. Press LB with the stigma equipped to strike out an attacking enemy. A well-timed hit will interrupt most attacks and restore a portion of health. Consumes power per use. Oh, like my stamina. No, I have a separate power bar. Jeez, okay. I'm not very good at parrying, but we'll see. We'll see. Restores health. Oh god, that sounds like it's going to be a major mechanic. For bosses. Check one. Okay. Didn't get it that much. I didn't even see how much I healed then. Have a looky loo. So if we can get another one, maybe? Oh yeah, not too bad. And it restores our focus too. That's cool. It's a hard move to pull off. There's not really any. Yeah, I kind of, kind of have to let them approach me. Don't have any more reach than my normal attack. Oh, it does a little bit. I do take a step forward. Uh, the manor, temple of the deposed gods, city of Mithringal. The manor, I guess. I don't know. I found a key, did I? I didn't get a key, did I? Key items? Hmm. Did I miss the key? There were lots of items I didn't get. Let's dress. You bring a dangerous affliction before me. Yet I smell fear upon your flesh. You may approach. Who is the woman that speaks before me? An interrogation will not serve you well. Your heart is murky, and unworthy of the mercy of the Lady of the Manor, Helenia. My lady. You speak with respect. Only now as I reveal myself to you. But your curse will always burden you. Many others like you have dwelled here in the Manor. I feel a familiarity with this place. A pull I cannot explain. Many would implore me to seek freedom. But freedom is not this life's ultimate treasure. Understanding's what I seek. As do I. Then seek it. Return to me with your findings and experiences, cursed one. And through our understanding, you shall be bolstered yet. And pray, would you do me a kindness in turn? What would you ask of me? I have callings elsewhere. Yet I remain. I yearn for this place. For those here with me. If you discover a teacup, most blessed on your travels, deliver it to me. For a lady cannot remain in one place for so long. There are whispers throughout the manor. Whispers that reveal secrets. Spells. You will come to understand soon enough. Okay, so she's like our maiden. Uh... Can't get a description on them. That's a bit annoying. Electric defense and bait. Mind is focus. And dark and nightmare. Dexterity is fire and burned. 
strength, it's frozen and frost. Interesting that they've tied an element to each attribute. And vitality is health. Jeez, only three points though. I kind of want to do mind once just so I can at least get my thingy off twice. Is a strange manner. Pray tell me more. A place of ancient splendor, home of the Oxnabils, now forever tainted by the ones who called it home. Through twistedness and bad omen, people sought solitude. But alas, it is a blessing that I cannot share. Yet, now you are here, like many before you who have been drawn to these hallowed walls. Um, I gotta say, the voice work kind of knocks it out of the park. Pretty impressive. Locked with a key. I do love these animations. Ew, gross. What am I becoming? What is this place? Ah, a wanderer. Around these parts. You truly have hardy blood coursing through your veins. Blood that I regretfully do not possess. I am Mark. And this here liquor is my courage. This liquid keeps my heart beating. The only way to heat up my sunless world. This curse has shackled me to shadow. Away from my beloved Mithringal. Mithringal. Tell me of this place. I recall my days in Mithringal with fondness, dear wanderer. Yet it is a city that now exists merely in my dreams. The contamination smote what I held most dear. The cloud still holds the city hostage. Hence why I remain here with no hope of forgetting. Despair and distrust has overwhelmed the people. Just like our ancestors, we squabble and doubt each other's loyalty. We've not learned from their mistakes. I know of a man. He sought to rid us of such chaos. It is seldom that one steps forward to do what is right. They call him Herman. You must seek him out before your indisposition takes you. Tell me how to find him. I cannot. The path is clouded. My eyes fail me. Here, I bestow this weapon upon you. What do they call you? Ah, you are branded. Nightbane pistol, a weapon forged in recent times but inspired by ancient craftsmanship. Despite its deceptive lightness, the pistol's ancient blueprint was modified as the mutation developed to increase its firepower with the force to pierce the increasingly tough skin of Cold One mutants. Eric, it will help protect your body. Your heart, I fear, may not be so fortunate. Take this key. I hope you find a use for it, for I am finished. Mark's key, a possession said to be exploited by souls of mystery. Bearer of this key shall enter whence the celestial whispers come, and the gateway amongst gnarled ancient flora. There is talk of a curious presence, haunting uh, and confused. Four walls where she ponders a refuge. Mithringal, tell me of this place. I recall my days in Mithringal with fondness, dear wanderer. Yep, same Yet thing. it is a city of despair. Surely, if I were. Uh, okay. Gun. I have gun. Left hand. Save. So I assume that key's not. Opens the gates to the broken pass and some locked doors in the manor. 
not in the prison. Ah, you can throw them. That's why they were highlighting before. Interesting. Barsov's electrocution, a weapon of last resort. These were studied and used by ethereal, uh, the ethereal order, ethereal order to torture infidels and in, uh, with constant and lasting pain. Later, it was converted into a new, mightier power by Nikolai Barsov. It continues to prove itself an effective weapon. Uh huh. Stores focus. Adds fire to weapon. Interesting. Okay, so it's like what? A magic? Um. Shit. I don't know how to use my gun. Ah. Ah, it's blacked out. Oh my god, how many times am I going to do that? Hmm, okay. Member of the household's letter. When the destruction around us began, we made for the rumoured passages which would lead us to safety. Yet a scourge shadow blocked our path, ensuring a terrible fate upon us all. Damned ruins of the Osseus Fortress. Well, I don't think I want to do that yet. I want to continue exploring the manor. Though it looks like I can't. Anyway. I need the power of push. Oh, uh, maybe I don't have any bullets. I see. I see. Makes sense. What else have we got? Ah, bullets. Because I don't want to waste them. Tempting as it is to see how it works. Um, I guess we're going to the city then. I guess I should put some other stuff on my belt. Mark's key. Nice. I think that's gonna reach, is it? Oh, it did. Execution. Gun! Gun bad. Don't like a gun. What the hell are those? Let's try the electricity out. Doesn't use too much focus either. Interesting. Oh, I tried to dodge. So, hmm. Okay. Whoops. What have we got in the chest? What's in the box? God, even the animation just on like the webs dislodging from the chest is so good. Nightfall blade. Wedged in the hilt are fragments of blessed fabric from relics of the ancient gods. 
Often these weapons were buried together with the high ranks of the Federal Army to protect them from death, but are now reserved for church found nobles. Nobles. So. Wow. A lot less focus cost on whatever the ability is. It's a dexterity weapon. Okay, so we've got a crit chance, not... It's rare in... Not rare in Metroidvanias, but rarer in souls like. Okay, like turns into a spear. No wonder it only costs a little few points. Man, that background looks amazing. They've definitely nailed the gloomy gothic feel. Og. Og. <laughs> bring a dog. Ow, don't bring it. Guess I better try my gun out. So I know what it does before I hit a boss. Even though I've only got seven bullets. Okay. Thanks for the blood. I don't think there's anything across there. Injection. Really curious if I'm going to get that key or not. It won't open. No siree. Ew. What is that? Hmm. Dead mind. Easy points. Jeez, we have a lot of points. Maybe I should teleport back and use them. I do like how fast the sword is, but... I guess I am already invested in strength. Bum 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 bum. Damn. Okay, insta-kill spikes. Noted. Noted. Get those 2,000 things back, please. again. That's a bit better. Okay, that's a crit. Easy. Brutal. Okay, so that refills my focus. Doesn't do anything for my health. That's not a door, apparently. Oh, 
Bonk. Oh, not quite. Not quite. So, am I right in thinking... Yeah, okay. So, I mean, only seven heals on you at any time for now. That might change in the future. Whether to save them for bosses or what. Boot on. Ah, it is a door. Can I? Yes, I can. Sweet. Oh god, I thought that was going to be spikes for sure. Yeah, I don't know how to get to that spot. The city of Mithrimgal. Hey, something catches your eye. Your wares are of no interest to me. Pity. Surely you require a, an instrument to protect yourself. This place is an unforgiving one. My darling daughter was not so fortunate. She was taken inside that place. My heart is weighed down with my grief. Nevertheless, it is a heart that would surely be lightened with a purchase. Regret is not something you will feel. What is your daughter's fate to be? It is a heavy price, but one demanded by the church. A church with prejudice against its own congregation, sucking the hope out of us all. She is in the chains of these wretched people. I must resign myself to a fate of a hunt, an all-consuming pursuit of those who hold her. I must... Your purchase will be gratefully received, and will return a mere fraction of the warmth to my heart. So, what say you? But be quick, my time is limited, and uh, I must relinquish my daughter from the hell she's in. Hmm. Hmm. Um, okay, you basically sell everything I already have, apart from a bomb. That could be handy. I will buy from you, old man. Interesting that bullets come in key items instead of consumables. Um, I will buy from you one mechanical bomb. Right. Infected Wanderer. Okay, let's travel back. Okay, good map. So those are people? we got? I wonder what fate is. Luck? Crit chance? It's increasing my both my left-handed weapons, my gun and my spell.
got it, I have a lot of points. Uh, yeah, let's up the focus a little bit. Don't really need dexterity, do I? I have no idea about instinct. Go on strength again. Cool. All right, I think I'm gonna wrap up there. Um, so, I'm pretty impressed with what we've seen so far. Um, graphically, I am blown away. They have captured the kind of bloodborne gothic vibe perfectly. I assume it's mostly... Actually, it's a, it, it really does feel like a mixture of Castlevania and Bloodborne. The setting, the weapons are all very Bloodborne, but all the characters kind of remind me of Castlevania characters. Um, gameplay seems solid. Uh, weapons feel very weighted. Character movement feels very nice. Uh, standard Souls-like leveling system by the looks of it. I think the Steam page boasts a lot of weapons. Interesting to see just how many there are. Uh, the I assume there's quite a bit of replayability in trying different builds. Interesting to try a mage, I suppose. Uh, story seems quite intriguing. Bit of a generic Souls destroyed world and everything, but Souls like always have really intriguing storylines, and I think this one's going along the same lines, which isn't a bad thing. Uh, music is there. I have to say, nothing stood out to me, but it does perfectly suit what we've seen so far. Really moody, dark. Bit in a Souls-like, or maybe he's an, even a Resident Evil game. <laughs> uh, yeah, all in all, it's definitely deserving of its very positive review. And it gets a recommendation from me. I would definitely want to see more of this. So, with that, I'll say like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if there are any other games you want me to cover. Uh, let me know any feedback to improve the channel. I'm always looking for ways to improve. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.